Welcome, Age of Vintage Society. Why do people say they love each other so much, but will not stay in a marriage with them? Possibly one of those complications that we see in life or something. This is more like the story of Cicely Tyson, the award-winning Hollywood screen legend who entertained humanity with the dignity and resilience of a typical African-American woman amidst a love life that ironically was more troublesome than everyone had imagined. How was Cicely Tyson cheated on in five days after her wedding? I hope you know, my viewers, how much I appreciate you. Thank you for your generous comments and for the Patreons. This channel would not have been successful without you. Big thanks to those who watched the video right to the end. Subscribe if you are new here. And if you want to support my work, please visit my Patreon page. Cicely Tyson is simply one of the best of her kind. She affected humanity with her natural stage and screen calmness that critics say broke barriers for dark-skinned actresses with an outshining dignity. Everyone saw a Tyson that is an embodiment of a gracious woman who did not just need attention but respect in her epic characterization as typical civil rights icons, mothers and related sophisticated women. She used her talent to instill sagacity, nobility and grace in every production she pioneered. Her unforgettable contribution to reshaping society made an ex-president of America describe her long and extraordinary career as that which did not just exceed expectations but shaped the course of history. Interestingly, after Cicely got nominated for an Academy Award, she had to wait for about 45 years to win the gold medal as she was bestowed with an honorary Oscar in 2018, a fit that made her the only dark-skinned woman to achieve such so far. She also won Emmy and the Tony Awards, among others. Well, this iconic lady was not distracted as she continued to do her exploit. Tyson was still willing to take up a movie role even in her 90s, as she was quoted as saying that she had no plans to retire at the time. Her colleagues did not mince words when they publicly referred to her as their top role model in the industry. Analysts also agree that of all her many roles, Cicely Tyson stood out as an inspirational figure and mentor. She showcased not just her pride as a lady, but told vast audiences that black is beautiful. Not surprising that her friends and close associates did hint that Cicely has always wanted to be something more. She wanted to be someone she became, a stage and screen persona who had more awards than you can count. Well, just like most Hollywood actresses, Cicely also had a glamorous lifestyle off-screen. Being a spirited character all through the mid-1960s, she was reported to have had age-long affairs with someone she so much cherished when she first met him. Cicely's romantic relationship with trumpeter Miles Davis had some elements of surprises that fans do not know about until events unfolded. Described as an on-off love life, which started years earlier, but climaxed in 1981, when the two made it official in matrimony. The union was something that interested her fans at the time, but behind the scene, the relationship was more than chaotic, as attested by the two of them following their expiration. Just like every other thing you see in the movies, this couple was in the spotlight at the time, with some describing them as one of the most outstanding and trendy couples in America. Davis, who is a respected charismatic jazz musician and a pace setter, was described as having an addictive personality with bad prestige. He was the favoured one in the life of this dramatic movie star, celebrated for her dogged devotion. Interestingly, Cicely's memoir, which was released shortly after her demise, detailed some intriguing things about her that fans do not know about, especially her lengthy romance with Davis, and shared some incredible stories. Cicely Tyson went down in history as one of those who spent over 60 years of her career life portraying the great effort and joys of African-American life in the movies. In her famous statement, Cicely says, It's very exciting to know that you are making a roadway for someone else to follow. Her aim has always been to lift her generation so they could reach their full potential. As you must have guessed, Cicely Louise Tyson is an American born on the 19th of December 1924 in the Bronx, New York City, before relocating with her parents to East Harlem. Her mother, Frederica Tyson, was a domestic employee and her father, William Tyson, is known for his carpentry and painting skills, 
and is said to have emigrated from Nevis in the West Indies. Sicily is one of those raised in a cultured religious ambience, said to have sung in her church choir and attended prayer gatherings and related church activities back then in East Harlem. It was her mother who vehemently stood against her interest in becoming an actress. It became a source of a quarrel between mother and daughter until she later softened her decision after watching Cicely's stage appearance. As a student of New York's New School for Social Research, Cicely made an appearance on a network TV game show to tell the truth in 1963 as a charlatan for Australian singer Shirley Abicare and was given about four marks. Recalling her childhood, Cicely said when she was born her parents discovered she had a heart murmur. They all thought she would not make it beyond three years old and that the anxiety of possibly losing her at such a tender age made her mother hover over her from that moment on. At 96 then she declared that she outlived her mother, father, sister and brother because that initial motherhood influence and anxiousness kind of drove her crazy. Growing up on the east side of New York City, in a locality that was referred to as slums, where she said was not easy to raise a family, her mother made sure all her children went to church every Sunday. With a follow-up on weekdays for prayer meetings, cleaning the church on Saturdays, and other activities like teaching Sunday school and playing the piano as the church need arises. I loved performing in church, she said, but when she got older her interest shifted to the entertainment industry and her mother was antagonistic about it. She told me if I was going to do that I had to leave her house, and that was exactly what she did in the middle of the 1950s when she put up with a friend who worked in a telephone company and had stayed in her extra bedroom. Cicely added that she was lucky because she did not come along with her clothes but wears the same size as her friend. So when I started getting auditions, I borrowed dresses from her until she made a way for herself. After being discovered by Ebony magazine photographer, she was doing well as a fashion model. Her initial acting role was as a bit player in Carib Gold in 1956, then appeared on stage in Vinette Carroll's creation Dark of the Moon at the Harlem YMCA, before making her TV debut in the NBC series Frontiers of Faith in 1961. One of the most memorable roles that gave her a lot of followers and widespread attention was when she performed as Rebecca Morgan in 1972's Sounder, which got her an Oscar nomination for Best Actress. Cicely is among the few actresses that were very careful in choosing their film roles. She has also spoken about how she wanted to change the narrative about how the dark-skinned female community particularly was perceived by doing roles that improved their dignity. She said that with what she learned about who she is and what she wanted to achieve, she decided that she would not be an actress who takes on any kind of role. I decided my career would become my platform, and I was only going to do projects that addressed the issues, hence had blacklisted all projects that were offensive to the cause of the black community. Cicely was 18 years old when she married Kenneth Franklin in 1942. The two had a daughter, but soon her husband abandoned her, less than two years into the marriage, leading to an official dissolution in 1956. Tyson met and began romantic affairs with Miles Davis. The two first met in New York in 1966 when they took notice of each other a few times behind Riverside Park in the Upper West Side. They were both residents of the neighbourhood. At the time, he was still in the process of separating from his wife, dancer Frances Davis. Davis was said to have separated from his wife after watching Tyson on the TV show East Side, West Side, and was besotted, according to his autobiography document, which was co-written by Quincy Troop. Describing why Cicely has smitten him, Davis wrote that she wore her hair in an afro and was always intelligent each time he saw her. I remember wondering what she was like. She had a different kind of beauty. This, he said, was unlike other dark-skinned ladies that he sees on television. She was very proud-looking and had a kind of inner burning fire that was interesting, he wrote. Though he was extremely captivated by Cicely's beauty as he fell for her, she may have also found him highly attractive that she had to put up with his apparent poor habit. Davis, who was an habitual smoker, recalled how she had accepted his offer of friendship with a somewhat understandable condition. As their romance progressed, Cicely told him that she would not be kissing him with all that cigarette smell on his breath. 
She said she would stop kissing me if I didn't stop, he explained, adding that he stopped smoking just to be with her. Recall that it is within some months of their relationship that Davis used Cicely Tyson's image, a bright close-up of Cicely, for the cover of his album in 1967, known as Sorcerer. The image raised a lot of curiosity, with fans asking what was going on. Those who were not privy to the flings got to know that the two were rolling together. Davis later admitted that at the time he was not sure of the romance, but that Sicily is that kind of woman who gets into you, inside your blood and your head. And when he was accosted by the press about it, he told them that he was preparing to marry her by March 1968, when he was through with the divorce proceedings of his first wife. Cicely, who was two years older, also hinted in her memoir that their chats were rippled with honesty with a depth of understanding. She created imagery of the kind of love she had for Miles by saying this of their affairs, Love that gently guides your palm towards the small of another's back, a care that leads you to ensure no harm ever comes to that person. She disclosed that she also fell in love with Miles the moment she spoke with him, describing it as the soft place where our connection rested its head. After watching Mars perform in one of his musical shows, she thought he was coolness personified. She later labelled him a shiny penny, black as me and then some. What appeared like a first whirlwind romance at the time failed to live up to expectations as Womanising Davis in 1968 was already featuring his new catch, Betty Mabry, on the cover of another of his albums, Phil de Kilimanjaro. No surprise then when David instead married singer Betty after divorcing his wife, jilting Sicily in unexplained circumstances. Davis and Mabry, however, divorced in 1969. Mabry later said it was because of his violent temper. Somehow Sicily and Davis renewed their romance in 1978 and by November 26, 1981, they were united in a matrimonial ceremony that took place at the residence of actor Bill Cosby. The widely publicised union becomes a media sensation at the time, with Cicely writing in her memoir that Miles and I were among a handful of black power couples of the 60s. This was because they were an artistic duo that drew stares. I felt proud to stand alongside Miles, loved folding my silk-gloved hands into his, she stated quite a fulfilled period for this great talent. Even though they married in their second coming, the marriage was wild and troublesome due to Davis's explosive temperament and unfaithfulness. Davis, before his death, had identified Cicely Tyson as one who saved him from his cocaine habit. The couple lived in Malibu, California and New York City with all the ups and downs that did force her to go for a divorce in 1988, which was confirmed in 1989. Unfortunately, Davis died two years after. Interestingly, both were reported to have written extensively about their love lives in those memoirs, and coincidentally their explanation seems to tally in somewhat dramatic moments, making critics conclude that the two were driven by an equal level of sympathy and anger. Davis was very grateful to have Cicely in his life, as he wrote how for a decade she had devoted her energy to his recovery when he was down with illness, stating that Sicily protected me and started seeing that I ate the right things, didn't drink as much, I started to think clearer, and started thinking about music again. Sicily's fans are still wondering how she was able to connect with Davis, a man considered a rebel artist, whose addiction was well known in the entertainment circle, even as she was never interested in drugs. To add to the pain is the fact that he was also a self-centred philanderer, a story was told of how his love life in the late 1960s was characterised by a series of intersecting encounters with different women, occasioned by ego and lies that destroyed all but himself. One shocking revelation in Davis's memoir was a paragraph he wrote that I even went to bed with a woman I knew five days after Sicily and I were married. I didn't feel that sex thing for Sicily any more. With all the hullabaloos, the relationship continued. Cicely wrote, I married Miles not because of the world's opinion about either of us, but because of who we were for each other in private. She added that his behaviour often disturbed her greatly and even humiliated her. But beyond anger, I felt compassion and pity for this sad state. 
because she thought it was like being hurt by a man only for you to discover that you are heartbroken for him. I could not let Miles throw himself away, she had stated. It's not just men and women who have cheated and fallen in love in Hollywood. Did Richard Pryor have a love affair with Marlon Brando? Watch this video.